Okay, so you started uh, telling us about some of the key takeaways for uh, subtitling when it comes from to the results of the eye tracking research. Uh, do we know anything about differences in how uh, groups of people uh, use subtitling or read subtitling? Like, do hearing people read subtitles differently than the deaf people or the hard of hearing people? Yes. Um... There has been some evidence uh, showing that uh, hearing people uh, naturally uh, tend to skip uh, more subtitles, particularly uh, when they are watching a film or a show in a language that they can understand. Um, so as opposed to deaf and hard of hearing, uh, they would uh, simply not look at all the subtitles. So that's one piece of evidence. And then when you look at the deaf and uh, hard of hearing populations, we have also seen some differences with uh, deaf people, uh, particularly those with uh, profound uh, hearing loss. They tend to stay in the subtitle area until they have read the subtitle to completion. Whereas with hard of hearing people, what we have seen, particularly in those people who uh, are good uh, lip readers, that they tend to compare uh, what is there in the subtitle with uh, what they can uh, see uh, on the speaker's uh, lips. And this particularly um, concerns uh, intralingual subtitles uh, for the deaf and hard of hearing or closed captions, which uh, again, especially in uh, English speaking countries, uh, they tend to be uh, verbatim or near verbatim. So there is an expectation in uh, those countries in English speaking communities, uh, deaf and hard of hearing people, they would expect subtitles to match exactly what is there in the audio, whereas this is not the case for um, other countries and other languages. However, deaf people have been, <laughs> um, some of them, uh, demanding uh, verbatim subtitling for a long time. And I think there is a, this comes from the fact that they are indeed uh, comparing what they can see on the screen uh, with what they can see um, in the subtitles and also with hard of hearing people, what they can also hear from uh, the residual hearing that they have.